Good morning everybody and welcome. This morning what I want to do is something actually quite simple and that is make a simple GP bowl, a general purpose bowl. And I've got here some clay. This is weighing in at about 450 grams. So let's get out on the wheel head and I'll try and bring you in for some close up uh, on this. There she is, and let's come in a bit, a bit close. There we are, okay. Any closer? Yeah. Okay, this is a wonderful bowl to make because it's so useful. I find that. using it all the time, day and night. <laughs> well I always come down in the middle of the night and have a snack out the fridge and there's usually a GP bowl in there that's got something in it. <laughs> so here we go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a bowl and then I'm going to set up a gauge. Maybe when I come to setting up the gauge I'll just bring out the zoom a bit so you can see. So, centering up the clay, coning up, and centering down. Now you see, the, you see the shape of this, let me just come off the wheel a bit so you can see because my hand posture, but my little finger here it's a little bit pushing in underneath there, can you see? Making it a little bit of a mushroom shape. Okay, just make that point to start with. So, now we're going to go down. And really a GP bowl springs from the centre at the bottom upwards and outwards. So, keeping my hand there like that. See how I'm putting that hand there and just really basically feeding the clay up into my hand. Look, when you're throwing, always keep your rims healthy. So whatever you do, finish it off by squeezing it and pushing it there. Compress your rims like that, okay? It'll stop the rim. Okay, let's continue. Now, pushing in there and with the hand on the inside, bringing up the clay. Like that. Now these as you know, have a roll rim. Yeah, well we know about roll rims, don't we? We did them the other week. So I slightly tapered it here at the top. And now, putting my finger there, pulling it over my finger, and then pushing it down. Just something to bear in mind, whatever you do here on the rim, support it here on the inside with your hand. Don't sort of try and roll it over with no finger there to support, otherwise it'll just push it in. It's a small point, but one that came out the other day while we were teaching and discussing this. So anyway, bringing it up now, after I've rolled the rim, don't leave rolling the rim till it's too late. So now these need to be about 15 centimetres in diameter. What have we got? Let's have a look. Well, we're reading approximately 14. So I need to just, just widen that a little bit.
Now the shape of these bowls is a nice continuous curve from the rim right the way down to the foot. Yeah, okay, that's reading 50. And on the inside, there is no corner. It's a, con it's a continual curve, if you get me. No corner for your spoon to get caught in the morning while you're having your, your cereal. No, no. Right, let's chamois him. Okay, chamois. Now, the next bit is important because these bowls are not trimmed. Remember, not trimmed. So we're going to use your throwing stick now to effectively do the trimming that you would perhaps otherwise do later. So any movement here or anything I do on the outside here is going to, is going to have be a reaction on the inside of the bowl. And as I'm going to now skim down the outside and in at the base, it's likely that it will deform the nice inside smooth curve that we spoke about. So, in order to counteract that, I put my fingers here opposite where the wood is, but on the inside. Okay, let's go. So, and right at the base there, See, now I clean that right the way down to the base. It's a clean sweep, all the way down, no, no hesitation. And because I put my fingers there on the inside, I've also maintained the nice smooth inside curve. Right, I'm gonna sponge him out. And we are now ready to set up the gauge. So, I'm just going to this stage just bring back the camera a little bit just so you can see there we are right so I use one of these old chopsticks from our from our Chinese friends or Japanese <laughs> so take a lump of clay and just stick him on the side of the wheel And with the, with the pot still going round, set up the gauge approximately an eighth of an inch away from the from the, the ed, top edge of the pot, and then that will serve, of course, to give us the height and the width. So then the next one we we'll make up to up to there, and that. That serves as our as our goal, as what we're what we're aiming at. So there it is, folks. One GP bowl. Well, I haven't cut him off, of course, so I better do that. Otherwise, I'll have an embarrassing moment. Don't like to have them, do we? Okay. Simon H here saying. Hey, have a go at GP bowls. They're good fun, and once you get into the swing of them, you can you can knock them off at a minute each. <laughs> hey, take care. See you soon. Keep practicing.